Hello and welcome back to Dan's Minecraft Universe. I'm going to be showing you around my Victorian London map today. There's not that much done, but what I'm going to uh, show you is Southwark Bridge and the surrounding area so far. Uh, Southwark Bridge, just in case, uh, well, for all of you that don't know, he's still there now. I think it's been there. It was built in 18 something, I don't know. Uh, and it was rebuilt again in 1912. So this is what it looked like back in 1868, which is what the map is based on from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, so this is it. What we'll do, we'll go to the start of the bridge here. Now this bridge isn't finished. It's exactly half done. So when I do start the other side of the Thames, then I'll carry on with the other side of the bridge. So here we go, this is the bridge here. It's a big old iron bridge, as you can see. Lovely light in there. And what I've done, we've got stairs that go down to the Thames. And I've made the bottom here, the bank of the Thames, just a bit, a little bit rough looking. Put a bit of moss on the walls around, a few vines growing up. And then you can actually go underneath the bridge and then back out. This is the side of Cannon Street train station, which I think you'll, if you've seen, uh, watching this, you would have seen the train station in the last video on this series I've done. And then you can go back up to the top there. What we'll do, we'll just take a look underneath the bridge. And what I've done here, I've done every one individually, so it's not a solid bridge. So you can see that the cast iron, or what should be the cast iron um, struts, or whatever you call them, I've done them all individually. And if you carry on along, got the same again. As you can see, it's just floating in nothing. But this eventually will be all full. There we go. And if you can see there as well, that's Cannon Street train station, like I said, then running parallel to uh, Southwark Bridge, I've got this railway bridge. So then the railway bridge then will span the Thames across with Southwark Bridge. Again, this is as accurate as I can get it to how it was in 1868. From not only looking at sort of uh, pictures, still pictures, and again, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is fantastic to watch to do this map. And then I've just done the streets so far. All these uh, shops and buildings, that sort of thing, they're all hollow. I just haven't got enough time to do the interiors. But as you can see, there's all shop fronts there i've changed the scale as well with this build usually most builds are to scale with your actual character which would be two blocks but i've changed it around a bit it just looks that bit more authentic now having the doors a bit bigger and the bigger you do things as well the more detail you can get i mean there's this steam Punk texture pack is fantastic. I mean, the brickwork, I just think, is superb. And then you can just play with the different bricks that you've got and just come up with these really nice buildings, these sort of terrace buildings. And what I've done with this one, when you come round the back, so far, I've made the back of, of these buildings a little bit more sort of disorganised, like the fronts were set out really nice, but then the backs are a bit more sort of, you know, higgledy. You know, bits coming out here and there, like they've been added to and built on and that sort of thing. So then here you would have some houses there, then houses underneath, like the base, basement uh, house. And then here, this was going to be... I might still do the inside of this, like a workshop. And then we've just got bits and bobs. 
knocking about here. There's obviously, it was all horse and carriage, so there's hay bales and I did have a go at doing a, a cart, a hay cart. The wheels, I've been playing about with the wheels myself and my bud Zeno Hunter, we've both been looking at trying to make better wheels, but still so far I haven't really found anything I'm 100% happy with, so we'll see how that goes anyway. And if you look at the buildings, as you know, they're not straightforward. There's always a bit of wooden scaffolding and everything like that. I think I'll still put a bit more signage on the fronts, make it look a bit grittier. As you can see as well with the road, I was using cobblestone, but it just it looked too clean. Whereas obviously back then the roads would have been a bit of a mess, so. I've mixed up the bricks, give it that sort of warning look where you can see patches of cobblestone and then brick and, you know, dust and that sort of thing. And I th so far, I think it works. So there we have it, Southwark Bridge and the surrounding area so far. I will be carrying on with this soon. So stay with me and watch London grow. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.